I've always seen and heard about places in Japan like Tokyo, Kyoto, and Hiroshima with social media showing Osaka, Nara, and other various places. Therefore, this time I wanted to explore a place that I did not know anything about recently, and maybe you didn't either. But if you do, awesome. Anyway, let's explore the land of sunshine, also known as Okayama. <laughs> Okayama is located in the western part of Japan about 3 hours from Tokyo by bullet train or about an 8 hour drive by car. The prefecture gets its name Land of Sunshine because of its minimum rain and mild climate. As you saw previously, this statue is a symbol of Okayama. The man is named Momotaro, which translates to simply Peach Boy. Momotaro is from an old tale passed down orally from generation to generation for hundreds of years. The tale goes as follows. Momotaro was born from a giant peach, which was found floating down a river by an old child childless woman who was washing clothes there. The woman and her husband discovered the child when they tried to open the peach to eat it. The child explained that he had been bestowed by the gods to be their son. The couple named him Momo Taro. Momo meaning peach and Taro meaning eldest son in the family. When he was just five years old, he was able to cut a big tree with just an old knife. When he matured at adolescence, Momotaro left his parents to fight a band of demons who was all over their land by seeking them out in a distant island where they dwelled. En route, Momotaro met and befriended a talking dog, monkey, and pheasant, who agreed to help him in his quest to exchange for a portion of his kimidango, basically his melee dumplings. At the island, Momotaro and his animal friends penetrated the demon's fort and beat the band of demons into surrendering. Momotaro and his new friends returned home with the demon's plundered treasure and the demon chief as a captive. So being in Okayama, I now naturally had to explore the capital, and while I was here I got to find one of the three great gardens of Japan. What? They call it the Thank you. And it's one of the most beautiful gardens I've ever seen. Although if you want to see in peak condition, then spring with the cherry blossoms would be best. Still looks amazing all year round though. The was built in the year 1700 and reached what it is today in 1863. It did suffer severe damage in the past, but thankfully has been restored. The garden originally was used as a place for entertaining important guests and as a spa of sorts for the Japanese feudal lords. Now it holds events throughout the year and is managed as a historical culture asset to be passed to future generations. So if you ever want to go somewhere that doesn't have many tourists like Kyoto, then I highly recommend coming here. So about an 8 minute walk from here is the Okayama Castle. Similar to Osaka Castle, it got destroyed, repaired, and renovated inside with documents displaying the castle's history. But still what a sight to see, right? After that, I walked around Kurashiki Bikon Historical Quarter. I really like the historically attractive atmosphere of a calm and harmonious life. Basically, place had good vibes. The Bikon Historical Quarter offers visitors a taste of Western influence harmonized with Japanese style. This place also offers washoku, which is Japanese cuisine, restaurants, and local confection shops where visitors can enjoy a more literal taste of Japanese tradition. I've heard at night it's even better when the streets light up, giving a different experience than in the daytime. I gotta say, I love how Japan decorates their manhole cover specializing for that city. Makes the place look nicer and more attractive. Hint, hint, USA. Well, as they say, all good things must come to an end. So that includes me talking. So if you're ever in Japan, at the Okayama cheer list. It was fun, Okayama, but now it's time to Tokyo.